Hi to everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will do, well it's not really my favorite top 5, it is my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, top 6 of my, um, of the crystals in 2019. With all those 31 days of tarot and top 5 decks of 2019, even outside of that, I loved doing those. And then I saw Kelly from The Truth and Story did actually yesterday, I think, or a day before, her favorites. And she did a video about her favorite decks of 2019, but she did a second video about miscellaneous things that she loved in 2019. And a part in that was actually her favorite crystals in 2019. So I thought I really love to watch those. And I, I thought, well, I'm in the mood to do one of those. What were what was my or what were my favorite crystals in 2019? Because my channel is intended to be for cardomancy, tarot and oracle and Lenormand decks and all things divinatory and spiritually. But also a main part of that in my practice, and which it actually started um, before, long before all those cardomancy stuff and divination stuff and spiritual stuff, um, was my um, uh, my crystals. I actually started um, collecting crystals when I was in primary school, I think in third or fourth grade. Um, so I collect crystals and research and have experiences with working with them for about 14 or 15 years now. And I love them. Even now, uh, after those 14, 15 years, I still have the love, uh, I still love them deeply. And so I thought, well, I will do my top five with an honorable mention because I couldn't reduce it to five. So I have my top six um, of the crystals in 2019. Um, first one is. And these are in no particular order, so it's not, this is my number one, and then it goes down under, it's just how it goes. I love them all equally. Um, so the first one is hematite, and this is because I got this hematite ring to wear. Um, it is all hematite. So there's no metal, silver or anything, it is just pure hematite formed into a ring and polished. And I wear it on my little finger because um, I thought I had 17 in the ring size, but unfortunately my finger, my fingers are thicker than they were. Now, so this fits on my small finger now, and I wear it every day I go out into the to study on my university or to do other things. I always wear this, and it feels really I feel a difference. Um, between the time where I wear it and the time I don't wear it or I, I didn't even have it. Um, and actually a fun story about that is that I always wear this ring and I have to travel by a train and you know the German train company isn't that reliable. And every time I wore this ring, everything went good. The trains were on time. They drove the direction 
without any complications or anything. And one day I forgot to wear this ring. I forgot it at home. And I walked to the train station and I thought, oh shoot, I have forgot my ring. But I hadn't time to go back uh, to grab it because otherwise I would have missed the train. And I felt really low at this day on this day with my energy i don't know if it's really because of the crystal i think so because i'm a believer in crystal energies or if it was partly because i knew i missed it at home um and exactly on that day and this was the only day i hadn't um the ring with me and i had forgotten it um the train was cancelled and there weren't any other trays that drove in the direction that I needed to go so that I can maybe um, find other trains or something like that and get nearer to my home because in this direction that I needed to go there was a technical issue um, with the with some I don't know, don't ask me. And so there were in, there were maybe two trains left in that whole train station, main train station uh, in a big city. Um, and all others couldn't drive because of that technical issue. And I sat there and I thought to myself, well, that doesn't look that great. I don't know if I... If I'm able to get home today, maybe I will just buy a tent and sleep overnight in the train station. I don't know. So after that experience, I really looked that I didn't f or that I don't forget to wear this ring. And besides that, I feel more... I feel stronger, I feel more alive, I feel more energetic, I feel protected when I wear this. So hematite, and I have some other ones in my collection, this is the rough piece of hematite that I have in my collection, um, and I have on my reading space a whole class of little little tiny tumbled pieces and actually there's a bigger piece in there too um and i love hematite of course like i love all my minerals and crystals in my collection but really in 2019 that love was refreshed and it was one of my favorites in that year because of that ring i love that ring so much and i love the energy of hematite um so this is one of my favorite six crystals to work with or which i had experiences and work with in 2019 so next is black tourmaline so this is a rough piece of black tourmaline that I have in my collection. I also have a huge tumbled piece uh, of black tourmaline in my collection as well. And I love black tourmaline because of its protection skills. I really feel secure and grounded and shielded from negative energy when I have a black tourmaline around me. And I actually got this year those these are organic products i don't know how to call them in english or how to spell them or speak them pronounce them in english um organite which is actually there is black tourmaline pieces in it with a little bit of metal pieces in it as well and a metal spiral in uh, in there as well and I have three of those black tourmaline organite um, obelisks or points in my room. One is actually right beside my reading um, space. 
and the other one is right beside my bed and another one is right beside uh, the, the door of my room and they built this protection circle or triangle in my room and I love those. I love the energy that they gave or that they give in my room. Um, I really feel protected in that. So I love black tourmaline and I love to work with it. I always am surrounded with black tourmaline, especially when I do um, any kind of spiritual work. So this is my go-to for that. Or when I have the feeling that something doesn't feel right or something is odd with the energies around me, I will use black tourmaline. And I hadn't that odd feeling since I had these um, black tourmaline points in my room um, quite as often as I did before. So... That is that. I will put that up right there. Since we are in the tourmaline spot right now, this is another piece of my favorites in 2019. This is a watermelon tourmaline slice, actually, and I got it in 2019 in um, a little market that they did in a rose garden nearby um, and there is a stand there from Ida Oberstein who sell um, jewelry and all kinds of crystals um, and this one I actually they hadn't um, put that out to view um, and I was there and viewed some of the rarer pieces that I have had out to show and to uh, sell. And then the, la the lady came to me and said, if you're interested in collection um, pieces, I have more that I didn't put out because there are more ex of the expensive things. And I said, yeah, sure, I want to see those. I am interested in those. And I have, I am at that point in my crystal collection now where I have the bases and most of the things that are missing right now in my collection are more of the expensive things. Um, so that was a really surprise for me and I was really happy about it. And then she put out three displays of the pieces all in such um, boxes um, with rarer crystals and pieces. And this one actually, there were a couple that I want in my collection and that I miss in my collection until now. Um, but this one actually touched my heart. I don't know why. Um, it hasn't the most, um, I try that it focuses and it won't focus. I hate it. Yes. It hasn't the most, um, intense colors. It is not a very, um, saturated pink or very light neon green. It is a very dark um, green out here and a really smooth rose color in there instead of a pink um, but I really love it because it has rainbows up there and it has a special it is divided in the stone actually here you can see the lines so it has this rooms where it has a lot of rainbows and then it has this other rose um, colored room. And this really looks like a bubble in the stone. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there you could see the rainbow. Yes, it focuses. So this really looks like a bubble in the stone. And I love all those rainbows in there too. 
And I actually love that the colors on this are more softer than the traditional pink that you see with the water, uh, watermelon tourmaline. I actually have another slice of watermelon tourmaline which has um, a more intense pink um, in the middle of it, but it is smaller and it doesn't have this inclusions. It has and this inclusions and this rainbows. So I really fell in love with this one. And I love to look at it because of this bubbly effect that it has and all those rainbows. I really love this piece. So another stone that I fell in love with in this year is this optical calcite. Um, that I have in my collection. I actually had this longer than I got the black tourmaline one um, in 2019, the watermelon tourmaline in 2019. I had the rough pieces of hematite and black tourmaline longer, but the hematite ring and the black tourmaline point I got in 2019, and that was actually that I fell fall that I felt in love with those two I felt. I fell in love with those two new. The optical calcite I had longer in my collection. I think I got this one in 2018, I suppose, or 2017. Um, but I really fell in love in 2019 with it because I did photos of it. And one of those photos looked really amazing. I didn't know how I got that photo and that it looked, I really wasn't aware that it looked like this on that photo. And after I have finished, I had finished doing the photos, I went through them and I looked at that photo and I, wow, that looks really fascinating and really alien. Um, because it had reflections inside and rainbows and different, I don't know, the way the light had um, was depicted inside of the stone on that photo was awesome. And it has a lot, really a lot of rainbows in there. I actually can see with my eyes right now three or four rainbows on different um in different places in that stone and the camera won't get it. In the camera you see in my viewfinder you don't see any rainbows at all. There you have one right there. And it has all those different reflections. And there of, of, of the light, it really looks magical and otherworldly. And the really neat thing about this, not only that it has all those cool reflections and rainbows in it, but it actually has this thing where um, you have, I want to get a piece with text in it. Where you have a piece uh, a text and you lay it onto there and then it doubles the actual lines and letters. I don't know if you can see this on camera. So you have friendship. Uh, it reflects there. You can see it a little bit. It doubles the word. So you have the original word and then another one right on top. So this is a really interesting stone with a lot of um, special effect, effects to it. So I love this one. And the last two are actually two that I got at the end of the year. So the first one is this little piece. It is actually meteorite. Um, it is actually a um, real... Um, shooting star i blanked there sorry it is actually a real shooting star that fall on the earth and you can find those meteorite um pieces now um 
So I love this one. I don't know if I can show this up any closer. It won't focus now. So it's just a little piece. It has this silver metallic -y look and feeling to it. But I think the story behind it is just awesome. I love stars. I love watching the night sky. I love shooting stars. And now to have one in my collection um, is just amazing. And you know that saying that there is, I don't know if that's in the United States as well, but we here in Germany say, if you see a shooting star, you have one wish free. Um, and now I have my personal shooting star and I can use this to connect with star energy, to connect with... Um, and to work with wishes. And as a little luck um, piece. So I love that one as well. And the last one I got actually at the end of December. Um, it was a birthday present from my mother. Because she knows that I'm into crystals and minerals and that I collect. And that I'm now at a point where most of the pieces and minerals that I miss in my collection are more of the on the expan ex um, more of the expensive side of things and so I she asked about what crystals do I want or what do I um, want for Christmas and for my birthday and I wanted this one this is actually, I don't know what you call this in English, um, but this is actually pyrite and a special form of um, crystallization that pyrite does sometimes. In Germany, we call it pyrite sun. So sun, because it has um, a little bit of sun feeling to it with all these... Um, sun rays and it is golden metallic it has those gold metallic reflections of the light it has all those sparkling glittering things a lot of it in the middle and it is a special form of crystallized um, a special form of pyrite I had other pieces of pyrite in my collection but this is such a special thing and I love how it looks um on photos and pictures but it is an ex a more expensive thing um and i got this on my birthday and i even love it n more now that i can see it with my own eyes and hold it in my own hands it really looks spectacular i don't think that the camera does this justice It is awesome and it has so much energy around it. I really, it is amazing. So this is the last piece that I got in 2019 and the last piece on my top six crystals in 2019. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what your top crystals in 2019 were or what your favorite crystals of all time are and what you got in 2019 in your crystal collection. Also feel free to do a video response if you want to. Um, I will link Kelly from the Truth in Stories video that I talked about at the beginning in the video description because that's where I um, had this idea to do this video and her video is not all about crystals she shows her crystals at the end of it but she also shows a lot of other stuff really cool and interesting stuff also and feel free to make a video response use the hashtag um, favorite crystals in 2019 or top crystals in 2019 um, so that I can follow you and let me know um, and I can watch those. So 
I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps. And I'm really happy when I can read your comments and see that you like the video. And then I hope I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye.